Hey, what's up fam? Welcome back to another video, and of course I have a bunch of news to talk about. You see the weekly rotation, we got some new UGC items, and I got a full record of announcements to talk about. But of course before we do get started, I just want to say thank you so much for 42,000 subscribers. Subscriber gain hasn't been the greatest this year, but I still want to appreciate the growth that's been happening. Thank you for the love, I appreciate it. And since we're already talking about this, you might as well use my code, maybe like the video, hmm? Hmm? Anyways though, we have a new weekly rotation inside the rec center. We just received this big old fall or autumn tree. Inside this tree, it's just, you know, around the rec center, it's a pretty big tree. This is our pop-up shop and you can even like chill out on top of here and stuff. It's pretty cool. Nice decorations all around and I do love just the inclusion of, you know, the season and stuff. Not a bad shop. We even have this little sleeping bear in it as well and as you guys can see, we have some shop items. None of them are new. We also have some new rec center items and stuff like that and of course be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on this new rec room plus seasonal item. The rec center is looking blank. And then over here on the board we have a new featured creator called Walker Walks and he's a screen builder, that's insane. Now with this weekly rotation, this was just not all. If you go to the store UI inside your watch, you guys can check out not only the actual UGC items, but the discounted offers too. These are all the items that are on sale and they are usually like 50% off or have super high, you know, sales and stuff, it's nice. Inside of Featured Creations, which I think is just now like the UGC shop now, we have received all these new UGC items where we have the Gamer Hoodie, this TV Head, this little Glorp Cat, this Calico Cat, this White Cat, this Tuna Sushi, we have a Snail Shell, we have some Headbands, Round Glasses, a Sports Drink Cat, another Gamer Hoodie, and we have some new Pants, and a Goth, I'm not a Goth, a Star Joker. And I got a, a box right as I was recording. Hey, I feel really sad right now. Can I get a pick, please? I got you, Golden. But this was our weekly rotation, and of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. Use my code. Now, continuing onwards, a Reckon player had actually reached out to me, and had showed me an instance where they had found a quote-unquote ghost player. I think the UI just wasn't loading, but this player had no face, no name tag, no level, and whenever you clicked on their profile, it was just blank. Super interesting bug, and of course, what do you guys think? For another bug on our list, there was actually this cool little screen mode bug, which kind of allows you to jump really high. All you need to do is you need to be on screen mode and you need to try sliding on a wall. When you try sliding on a wall, walk backwards and you'll just launch upwards. It's pretty crazy, honestly. Don't know if it's still inside the game, but if you guys do want to take advantage of it, feel free to take advantage of it. Now, just for some little extra news here and stuff like that, Rec Room has some new promotional images and stuff. And of course, what do you guys think? That's it. That, that, I didn't want to spend too much time on that. Well, well, well. This wouldn't be a school video if I didn't shout out my memberships. In case you aren't aware, my channel memberships are just like Patreon. They give me money every single month and I give them special perks every single month like being shouted out inside my videos and getting sneak peeks to videos. These people see my videos first, y'all. Anyways though, I do have these little fancy, you know, cards now showing them off and stuff. Of course, massive shout out to Daytrix, Hydro, KobeFan76, Not the Pup, The Dragon Boy, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Nolan, Raphael, Netflix69, Chase, Don't Leave, Lungan, Fan06, The Cloud, and Box David. Thank you all so much for the love and support. And of course, we have to give a little special shout out to Harvey. He wanted a shout out and he's a little squidling, so I thought I'd do it for him. I normally don't shout out squidlings, but of course, join the fam. Anyways, that's it. And let's get back to this video. I also have more news regarding UGC. Bubbles, a record creator that actually makes UGC, had decided to actually sneak peek some made outfits that they had made. These are obviously still coming soon. They're not inside the shop and stuff, but of course, they look awesome. I also think the hands and stuff are super cool too, but of course, we'll just wait and see when it comes out. But before I continue on with all this news that I have to talk about today, this video is actually sponsored. That's right, once again, I am sponsored by Kiwi Design. Kiwi Design decided to give me their F4 silicone facial cover that comes with soft touch silicone for maximum comfort during intense gameplay. It's a flexible fit that adapts to different face shapes moving with you, and there's a snug contour and light blocking design for immersive experiences. If you don't know what light leak is inside your VR headset, it's basically when light leaks into your actual eyes via these empty spaces around your headset. This facial cover gets rid of that. Not to mention, this actual facial cover is sweat proof and it's washable for a fresh, clean gaming session every single time. Unfortunately though, the F4 is only available for Quest 3S at the moment and it's running for about $15, but of course you guys can use code SKL for 5% off. In my personal experience, it's great and it's also very easy for me to 
just clean the actual facial cover. Application is one step, taking it off is one step, and honestly, it's just one of those quality of life things to be honest. I would recommend it, and especially if there's some sort of code like SKL that allows you to get 5% off your actual order. Not to mention it's pretty comfortable as well, and it's super soft. The actual quality of the material isn't very bad at all, and it doesn't feel cheap. Now, if you guys don't have the $15 to spare though, Queeby Design is giving away something for free. You can get your free lens protector safeguards for your Quest 3S inside their actual website. So, if you guys are interested in this silicone facial cover, I will have a link down inside the description below where you guys can check out Kiwi Design's website. And remember, if you guys want 5% off your order, it's code SKL. Reminder, SKL for 5% off your order. Thank you so much Kiwi Design for sponsoring me and the F4 silicone facial cover. And of course, let's get back to this video. Ah, oh, wow. I'm basically a pro. Just at, at the sponsorships, I'm, I'm a pro now. If that was a W sponsorship, be sure to like. Anyways, we had gotten some pretty good news from Creator Hub, and of course, it went as follows. Hello creators, I am proud to announce that our creative class program has passed 10,000 graduates. Creativity and community is what makes our so special, and this is so evident in our creative classes, and amazing members of our community take it upon themselves to teach and welcome you into a space that supports your creativity and friendships. If you are among these 10,000 graduates, then know that you know what I I'm talking about. This is a moment of celebration on your creative success and congrats! We are incredibly fortunate to have so many teachers who generously share their creative knowledge, time, and passion making these classes successful. I look forward to 10,000 more graduates and continuing to support all of you who are so committed to our creative and welcoming community. Thank you all for helping make our shared creative experiences better. And so we just had a little announcement about graduates and stuff like that, and be sure to let me know if you had actually went to Maker Pink class or not. I'm a graduate, so it's kind of heartwarming to see that, and of course, what do you think? There's also been these creator AMAs, but sadly, I just have not been getting to them inside my videos and stuff, so of course, hopefully I'll be a little better at this, and whenever they decide to make another one, I'll be able to talk about it so you guys can actually, you know, check that out. If you guys are wondering, this is basically just like a little Q&A for, you know, Rec Room developers and stuff like that, and it basically allows you to get more information on things that are happening inside a rec room. And unfortunately, that's pretty much all the news that we have for today's video. Super sad, I know, and I wish I had more news to actually talk about and stuff, but this is pretty much it for today. I'll be back soon enough, and of course, if you guys want to check out more rec room news, you should be seeing some videos on that side of the screen now. Like, subscribe, and even use my code inside of rec room because it supports me and helps me out so much. And of course, before we end, I just want to say, for some strange reason, I've been getting super motivated about YouTube. <laughs> Just more than usual. Hopefully I, I, I fall back on because I fell off. Anyways, bye.